Hey folks, the NC Star Tactical Backpack next on TACMED TV. Hey folks, Steve here with TACMED TV. Today we're going to talk about the NC Star or Nick Star. Not exactly sure how you pronounce that. I've never heard anybody actually pronounce it before. Um, we're going to talk about their tactical backpack today. Uh, this is something I picked up one of these, oh man, it's been years ago, um, used it for a while, and it kind of got a little worn out, uh, but I thought, man, this is such a great pack that I wanted to get another one. And I was kind of surprised when I got the next one, it was built a lot better than the previous one that I had had purchased. So <clears throat> we're going to talk about this one today. And this one's a little bit special. All right, now, now the um, I went to their website earlier, and of course you can't buy direct from their website. You have to go through one of their distributors. And I'll put uh, a couple of distributors um, in the description box below for you guys to go check out, or I'll take that back. I'll look around and see if I can find the best price on one, and then I'll put that in the description box. That way you know that uh, it's been researched a little bit and you can find the best price. Now I will tell you this, most of their pricing is, is set. So regardless of what uh, distributor you pick it up from, it's gonna be probably about the same price if I remember correctly. So anyway, but this one is one we're gonna talk about today. It's the, the Nick Star Tactical Backpack. Uh, I think it's listed at a 20 liter backpack. The storage space is 20 liter. I'm not sure exactly how that, how that works out into cubic inches, but <clears throat> this is what we've got today. So you can see we've got the, of course there's a large main compartment. Then you've got a smaller compartment up here up top, uh, kind of a medium sized compartment here. And then on each side, you've got two smaller compartments that make up this backpack. Now, there is an interesting little side to this. Back here in the back of this, and I'll, I'll take this down and, and show you here in a minute. Uh, back here, there's a little panel. On the inside, it's got a little pocket where you can slide a, a, a bullet resistant panel or a bulletproof panel. This one's, I'm not gonna tell you what's, which one this one's got in it. Um, because it's their different ratings and everything, but you can get them from their their uh, their website, and it's the uh, Vism V I S M, the Nick Star Vism line. Um, they have several different models of uh, pack backpack that will carry their ballistic panels, and they've also got several different ballistic panels on their site for you to be able to purchase at varying price points, whether it's a hard plate or if it's a if it's a soft plate. Okay, so those are in their website and obviously I will put a link to their their website below but this one here this is one that I got it does have the bullet resistant panel in it and this is something this is one of the kits that that uh, that I utilize and and honestly this one is kind of a, just a personal backpack this is one where if I go on vacation uh, I tend to pack kind of light I uh, don't take a lot of stuff if I get where I'm going then um, I'll just buy it if I don't have it. I'll just pick it up wherever I'm at. But usually this carries just a couple of changes of clothes, uh, some skivvies, uh, a couple shirts, a couple of Hawaiian shirts probably, uh, depending upon where I'm going, and then your toiletries and stuff of that nature. So that's what I pretty much carry in this pack. But give me just a second, let me down the stuff that's in here right now, and then we'll go through it pouch by pouch and show you kind of what kind of storage is in there. Okay, we're back. I've downloaded, or downloaded, offloaded everything that was in this pack so we can go through it a little bit more uh, pouch by pouch. And here, like I said, you've got the medium sized pouch. Uh, it's got a double zipper, double sided zipper on it. So you've got two pulls. The pulls are actually really, really nice as well. Um, I like that they put that cord right there with the uh, zipper pull on that and those are good solid zippers they're sewn in very well double stitching i haven't had any issues with this and i've had this packed for oh over two years and it gets gets some regular wear and tear all right same thing top up here has got a single single zipper on it 
again you've got the the double stitching and this one's reinforced because just as I think this one is too yeah it's all got the the uh, kind of the PVC lining on the inside of it on the outside on the on the lid of the pouch same here and then you've got the side pouches here that are good for carrying just small stuff again you've got that PVC coating on the inside of the lid and then the main pouch it's also got two zipper pulls pop these little side straps here kind of holds everything together and of course you can open it up and then you've got this large space here and that's good for carrying a lot of stuff now on the inside here you'll see we've got another zipper that's got a little mesh pouch where you can put stuff in whatever supplies that you want to use and then back here you've got a little velcro right there and then then your plate comes out okay so and this is the plate I'm not going to show you the specifics on it but that's the and that's one of the soft plates okay so anyway that's what goes in there now like I said their website has several different versions of backpack that will hold these plates get on there and check them out and take a look at them um, in today's world it's just kind of handy you know if you've got this pack or a pack from them that utilizes their body armor that VISM system and you find yourself in a hard spot or even if you're wanting to get something like this for your kids to go to school because just because the COVID's going around doesn't mean that school safety and your child safety is not an issue but I guess we do have to get back into school for that to, to, to really worry about that I'm gonna let that alone I'm not going I'm not gonna go down that road uh, with my opinions on that but anyway this is something too that you, you can put this on your front and now you've got a plate on the front of your body if you need to um, rapidly remove yourself from somewhere and you're not worried so much about getting shot in the back uh, or if you're a concealed carry person if you find yourself in a situation and you've got your pack with you you've got your sidearm <clears throat> you've got body armor and that plate I'll just take it out and show you what it'll cover this is a I think it's a 10 by 10 by 12 plate is what it said on the specifications just a second ago we'll pull the plate out and take a look all right let me fold that down so that's what kind of coverage I'm getting okay when I wear this on the front this is what I've gotten and obviously if it's on my back it's covering my back but you can see here just what kind of area this is covering okay and again it's a good solid well I say solid but it's a well-made plate and again it just slides right back in here into this pouch now me uh, you know I do own some some hard plates some hard armor and those will fit right in here I probably should have got one of those just to show you that it would slide in there but they make the uh, NC star does make a uh, hard plate for these as well so anyway so that's pretty much it um, show you the back here real quick or actually I guess this would be the front since it goes on your back it's got great straps here uh, it's got and I've lost my piece to this but it's got the chest strap that goes across and then it also has the waist <clears throat> has the uh, the waist belt you know to help secure it onto your back so all in all this is this is a kit or this is a bag that I really like um, probably gonna buy another one or two of these just because um, I like them that much so I can have several you know I can have one that I can use for luggage and then I can have one that I will probably use with uh, the SWAT team that I work with and then maybe set another one up to use on the truck uh, when I'm on the ambulance with just some odd and end things things that I like to have you know stethoscope blood pressure cuff things that I like to have specifically for me uh, on my truck so anyway so that's it that's the that's the backpack it's a short video today I'm not going to run it too long not any point to we covered it we talked about it <clears throat> check out the links below 
and think about getting one of these packs. I think they're really good. Uh, I think they do a really good job for, for what they are, and they are really well made. It's a good, heavy Cordura material. So anyway, guys, thank you all so much for joining me today. I appreciate it. Um, if you like what you see on this channel, you know we do the tactical medicine stuff. Every now and then I talk about some gear. Um, every now and then we talk about different things. You know, we've got the live show going every other Saturday now. Uh, if you've got any questions, you know, drop me a line in the comment section below. I'll get back to you as quick as I can. I try to answer every comment or at least let you know I've seen it and give you a thumbs up on that comment and do what I can. So with that being said, I'm going to put the uh, subscribe button over here in the corner, like I always do. I'll sprinkle some other videos around. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. My name is Steve with TechMed TV, telling you guys to stay safe.